All right, so I'm here with Alex Hutchinson, who is creative director on Far Cry 4. Now, do you have any great anecdotes from, from playing the game yourself? Like, you must test this thing to destruction. One of the little mini features I really like this time is you can cut the brakes on vehicles, <laughs> so you can park them on a hill, pack it with C4, and then cut the brake and let it roll down into an outpost and watch the AI sort of say, that's a bit weird, and then detonate. Am I right in thinking you can stick C4 to an elephant, shoot it in the butt, and watch it go mental and then yeah. explode it? Uh, you can upgrade your, your, your uh, C4 to sticky C4 and then chuck it on the back of an elephant. Very harsh way to go, but you know, it's a complicated world. Am I going to be making uh, an elephant skin coat, for example? Yeah, you, 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 will, you will not. I don't think actually there's any upgrades with elephants. Everyone got very sad. I mean, you can skin them and sell it, but we didn't want to force people to do it, so we're trying to find different ways to handle it. But yeah, the, the crafting, the, the, the skill system, all worked really well in Far Cry 3, so we're trying to bring those back and refine them and move them forward. So it's, it's that weird process of finding the elements that work uh, uh, in a franchise and keeping them so that everyone, it's still Far Cry, uh, and then finding all the new things to bring in over the top. You've added like a helicopter. Does that not make it like really, really difficult for you? Because now the player can go many, many more places than they were able to before. Yeah, for sure. Like this whole world is a is a valley this time instead of an island. Um, so it's bordered by cliffs you can't pass, but there's still a lot of really rugged terrain in the middle. So it was more to solve the problem of the annoyance of slowly climbing up, of you know, jumping 40 times to go up 20 feet. So no, it's cool. It's cool. And obviously they're they're very breakable, so we can shoot you down. Yeah, I shot uh, a helicopter down with a grenade launcher from my helicopter, which I, I thought that was magical. I saw that. Yeah. yeah, it's cool at the moment because we have we have a, a full run through, so we're you know really just grinding away in the game, trying to see what's happening. And really, the the philosophy on a Far Cry game is always put all the tools in an arena, arrange them, and really let you as the player build your own story. So uh, you get all kinds of crazy stuff, like you were saying, where you can shoot a helicopter from a helicopter. Um, now that we've got co-op, we saw all kinds of crazy scenes of you know your buddy riding around an elephant, busting down doors while you're up air in the chopper so there's all kinds of good stuff so talk a bit about the co-op what's changed this time around because last time it was kind of a self-contained separate story in its own arenas yeah i don't really see much future in modes you know so like the idea that i bought the game to have this big single player immersive experience and then there's this alternate mini thing on the side so we tried really hard to bring it into the same campaign so if you come online i invite you into my game all that single player stuff is still safe, it's still there, but we turn it off while your buddy's there because everyone just skips the cutscenes anyway. Uh, uh, and you have access to all the crossover stuff, so all the outposts, the fortresses, the bell towers, uh, you know, all the open world quests um, that I can complete with you. And then when you leave, I go back to my single player game. And if you're worried, all the everything in the game can be completely completed in single player. There's no need to play in co-op, but if you want to, it's, it's always there.